So I am on my way to my doctor's office. Um, it is currently April 3rd and I am starting Dupixent. I'm really nervous to go in, especially since I sound like I'm sick. I feel like everyone's going to look at me like I have the, the virus going around, even though I don't. Um, I feel pretty good because I've been on prednisone for about three days and it's helped my, my cough. My asthma is much more controlled with it right now. Um, I'm actually draining a lot of mucus, which I wasn't before. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really nervous to go in and start taking Dupixit. That's uh, upside down. Oh, well, you get the gist of it. Um, so I'm on my way and I'm going to let you know how it goes. Okay. It is dark because I'm in a parking garage. I just got out of my appointment uh, and it went great. I injected the shot myself with, of course, the nurse's directions and it was a little bit, okay, the needle itself didn't hurt at all. I was a little shocked by that. Um, however, uh, I don't think the medicine inside the syringe was quite room temperature. I think it was still a little cool because I didn't want both needles to get too warm because I still need the other syringe for two more weeks. So um, it was a little burny and she said that's probably because it wasn't warm enough. So next time just set it there. It's not going to hurt me. It's not going to affect me bad if it's not warm. It's just going to burn a little bit going in. So now I know um, it was a little freaky getting into the appointment because I sound really bad. I sound sick. Um, it's because I have a flare up with my respiratory disease. And if I had every symptom on that chart, I was not going to get in. And thankfully, um, I just have asthma and I was able to explain I have asthma and I'm here to get a shot to help with my asthma and I don't have a fever. And then also they have like two checkpoints. So you have to like talk about why you're there and what your symptoms are. And the second one, you have to get your fever checked and or your temperature checked. And if you have a fever, they won't let you in. So I did not have a fever. Of course, I knew that because I'd been checking it like every day, every hour for like the past few weeks, thinking that I had this virus and I didn't. It was just a flare up. So I'm really relieved. I'm excited to get better and get my voice back. I feel like it takes forever. Um, this happens every single time. I don't know why I was so scared that I had the virus because I'm pretty cautious. I use a lot of hand sanitizer. I wash my hands a lot. I don't even go into public a lot. And I was still kind of nervous that I had this, but thankfully not. But um, I don't know why I was so shocked, like not shocked, but like I don't know why I was so scared that I had it when I knew every three months I get a flare up and it was the three month mark. It's actually a little over three months since my last prednisone. So I wasn't, I shouldn't have been so shocked that it was a flare up, but I was. So I'm happy that it is just a flare up. I'm happy that I finally have treatment. It was not nearly as bad. I definitely can do the shot every two weeks. That is not an issue at all. I wish all my medications were just something I could inject every two weeks versus taking it orally morning and night. That would be so nice, but I am stoked. I will let you know of the progress as I go. And yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. I just got out of the shower. Um, so my hair is a little crazy, but, um, my eyes are a little sensitive today. Yesterday was my loading shot of Dupixit and I was told that like your eyes can, can get a little swollen or irritated and they're a little, I, I tend to be more pink anyway, like this is normal, but they are a little puffy. And I woke up with a lot of like um, eye boogers. And so I thought maybe, I was almost worried it was pink eye, but they cleared up and they haven't been an issue. And my, the whites of my eyes are totally fine. So I think it's just a small side effect of the Dupixent. I haven't noticed anything that I could contribute to Dupixent yet as far as like positives. However, I am getting a lot of mucus out, but I am also on prednisone. So I think we'll see in a couple days when I'm off prednisone, how my body is, there's my son, how my body is tolerating the Dupixent and if I'm seeing any results. I have refilmed this part of the video like five times at this point. It just hasn't worked out. We'll see how it goes this time. So it has been officially one week since I've started Dupixent. I have already noticed results and I wanted to share it at the end of this video and let you know how this last week has been just in a nutshell. Um, so we know I was pretty rough before the 
Yeah, that's my son. He just, we were in my new house, by the way. We moved, that's why the background is crazy and there's an echo. And I'm filming this on my fireplace mantle, so he's banging on the fireplace metal thing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, started to fix it last week. Uh, it was a little rough before I started. Uh, I actually was on prednisone for, I had a six day prednisone taper. Um, because of how rough my asthma was. Um, I had a lot of mucus just sitting in my chest and in my face. Um, I couldn't get any of it out. Um, at night, I could not stop coughing. I would cough and gag all night long. It, it gets to the point where I feel like I was gonna throw up and nothing was coming out, like no mucus or anything. So I definitely was pretty rough. Uh, my asthma was very much uncontrolled. I felt like I couldn't even get a full inhaler puff in even with my aero chamber because I was coughing so much it's really hard to hold that chamber in your mouth and if you're coughing air you're like pushing the medicine out of those little like airways that let your air escape because you're supposed to like breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out you can't do that when you're coughing so I was struggling it would I wasn't sleeping at night wasn't pretty so we my allergist had me do a prednisone taper just of six days, just to get me until my Dupixit shot, which was scheduled for that Friday. Um, or, sorry, I think it was Thursday. I don't even remember what day it was. It's on my calendar, so just so you know, I'm not gonna forget when my, my next shot is at home. Um, I think it was, I think it was Friday. Pretty sure it was Friday. Anyway, <laughs> I'm filming this on a Saturday, so no matter what, it's been a full week. Um, after I got the, the shot, I almost felt sicker for just a couple of days because I was coughing and blowing my nose and sneezing a lot. I usually don't sneeze. I usually just have a runny nose, um, if that. I get congestion and I blow my nose. Or I get a cough, uh, like especially a wheezy cough is common for me. Um, I was sneezing a lot, I was coughing a lot, and I was progressively getting mucus out. Like I was getting clumps of these, this mucus out and every time I would get a clump out, I felt better. Um, so I do think the first couple of days I wasn't sicker. I think it was just my body actually being able to push out what was just sitting there. And it's currently day eight since I started and I feel way better. I've gotten so much mucus out. My voice is still <clears throat> a little bit weird. It's much more normal than what it was before. Um, but, uh, I still occasionally will have like a cough, but it's not like before it was like a coughing fit. Now it's like, like two or three coughs just to get like any mucus that might be like right in my throat to get it out. <laughs> this is what my son looks like right now. Your beanie looks really, really good. I think he just wants to be in the video. Huh? But yeah, so it got, oh, he's blowing kisses. It got a lot of the mucus out. Um, I felt way better. I was actually able to smell a poopy diaper from him yesterday, which is huge. I usually have to kind of guess and check him regularly. That way he's not sitting in it. And I was actually able to get an indicator that worked on my nose. Like, hey, right now's the time. You gotta go, go change. So that was nice. And I was able to taste lettuce, which I eat lettuce as like a texture thing. I like the crispiness of it. I forgot lettuce had a taste. And as soon as I tasted it, it like unlocked a memory I didn't know I had. And it was like, holy moly, lettuce has a taste. And it was so weird, because that is such a mild flavor. <laughs> I would not have expected to get that only a weekend on Dupixent. So I don't know if that's a mixture of the prednisone right before the Dupixent, even though I was pretty rough before, um, or if it's just the Dupixent already working, which would be awesome. Um, uh, about a couple days ago, I've noticed um, I've been getting little bit little rashes, not nearly. Um, if you've been on my channel for a while and you followed me with AERD, rashes are not new to me. I don't have any allergies to anything. I don't have eczema. I don't have any of that. But I used to get like flaming red rashes on my neck. I would get lip swelling. Um, this is all stuff that happened when I was aspirin sensitized as well. So I'm starting to wonder if the aspirin desensitization was working for me and maybe just in the beginning phase of adjusting my body to this new way of like this new, like basically adjusting my immune system to work more normally, if it's causing these reactions while, like, while changing. 
because these, um, I'll post a video um, in, at the end of a little rash that I had. Um, that way you can see, I'll do that right now. Anyway, um, the little rash, um, I would get rashes like that all the time when I was desensitized. So I'm starting to think that's, I could be wrong. I haven't talked to my allergist about this yet, but I'm, I'd be willing to bet since I had that as well with aspirin desensitization that it probably is just changing your body and how it reacts to these inflammatory issues and causes those little bursts of inflammation like on my skin and like irritations and stuff. So that's that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Got my, I'm getting my taste and smell back. I had little bits of rashes. Um, I haven't had lip swelling yet. So far it's just been rashes, particularly on my neck and my chest, but nothing too crazy. I've had way worse rashes in the past. Um, <laughs> you're so silly. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video where it's at now because it shows like my loading dose of Dupixent um, and like the first week after and how I'm doing. Um, next week is when I have to inject my shot at home. So I'm thinking about filming that and maybe doing a quick little update to see if there's any new news at the two week mark. Um, and uh, maybe after that, um, my, my next two picks video will probably be in a couple months when I actually have been on it long enough to say if maybe like the rashes are still happening and if I've had any reoccurring infections or if I needed any prednisone while on to Pixent. And then hopefully if this pandemic ever ends, I can maybe give an update on my polyps and let you know if those have shrunken um, and if there was any more uh, polyps that, cause you can tell when polyps have shrunken. So we'll see if those are, if there was any new ones on this side. And I'll let you know in the next video. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.